I am basically going to be trying to plan every single hour of my day for 24 hours. This is like an extreme adaptation of time blocking, we could say. And time blocking is this time management method where each block of time is dedicated to a particular task or tasks in your day. But as I said, I am taking every single hour and planning my day like that to see how it affects my productivity. Based on my research into time blocking, which I've never properly done before, I think the first person to like do this was someone called Benjamin Franklin, who was one of the founding fathers of the USA. And advocates of time blocking, those who really feel like it improves their productivity and they enjoy doing it, they say that it improves your time management, obviously. You are more focused because you have dedicated a particular time block to one task or tasks, and so you have to get something done in a limited amount of time. You have kind of like mini deadlines, we could say. It removes the decision-making step because if you've done the planning, then you just go through your day. And it also just helps to structure your time, I guess. So there are lots of reasons in favor of time blocking, but like I would say I am slightly concerned just because sometimes this idea of time blocking feels like it's a bit overkill, like too much time would be spent planning. You know, you don't want to spend all of your time planning because you'll never get anything done. Sometimes it feels like it's a bit too rigid. What happens if you get behind on time and like things go wrong, like that will affect your whole day. Your levels of motivation and your energy is going to change and fluctuate throughout the day and also on different days. So how can you kind of plan for that if you've got such a rigid structure and i also don't know how long each task is going to take me but as i said i'm just going to try planning every single hour of my day i'm going to take you guys along my day and i'm just going to see how it works out for me so i really hope you guys enjoy this video definitely like it if you do i'm interested to hear if you guys try time blocking so comment down below if you do it or if you are going to potentially try it and if you're new around here you can subscribe and stick around but without further ado we're going to dive straight into my day so i filmed this video on the wednesday in the middle of the week when i was living in london with my boyfriend angelo and he was working in the office that day so he already left super early my alarm just went off at 7 a.m and that first hour of my day between 7 and 8 was basically dedicated to my morning routine, which will be coming as a full video very soon. Look at this, 8 a.m. exactly. I'm doing so well for time. This is great. It's currently Wednesday the 18th. I'm basically here living with my boyfriend Angelo for a week. Um, but yeah, he went to work early this morning, like really early. So I woke up at like 7. I kind of snoozed my alarm until 7.15. But this first hour of my day, 7 till 8, was all about like my morning routine. The only thing that I haven't done that I planned to do was journaling because I didn't bring my journal with me. And I could journal on my phone, but I like to write. So yeah, we're just going to omit that. I've kind of left myself some buffers within this day, but with time blocking, as I said, like... If you get behind or something, it could get kind of stressful. But right now we're on time and I basically have tutoring at 8.45. But yeah, this next hour of my day is going to be 8 till 9. But my tutoring session is at 8.45. So I'm going to have breakfast now. I really love this apartment. It's so cool. I still cannot get enough of these views. Like the sunrises and the sunsets have been honestly stunning. Um, but yeah, I'd love to stand here and chat with you guys for a long time. Um, but I need to actually make breakfast. So that is what we're going to do. I'm going to make oats. Um, basically the oats that Angelo and I have been making. We use peanut butter powder. Um, Angelo taught me this method. You breakfast making montage. <laughs> It's a very simple and quick recipe it literally takes like 10 to 15 minutes to make not even that so yeah that is basically what i did at eight i'm gonna basically do some emails at my desk because i have about like half an hour until i choose her and then as i said i have a 15 minute break and then i have a language lesson so a german lesson actually with lingoda who are actually sponsoring this video which is really fun if you haven't heard of lingoda it's basically a language school like an online language school and this is my first time using lingoda i thought i would document my experiences using it and tell you guys what I think because I have been on and off learning German as you guys know and I'm always very open to trying new platforms and new ways of learning the language. I didn't make it one of my 2023 goals to like be fluent in German this year or to actually learn the language properly but I would at least like to be more consistent 
with it and hopefully by learning more German I can hopefully achieve more language wins which is what Lingoda is all about for example when I was in Switzerland last year and even though it's really basic I ordered like crepes for us in French <laughs> Ah. And then also practice a bit of my German with Mia who can also speak um, lots of different languages. She is very talented. Lingoda also have their Lingoda language sprint and cashback scheme, which is like honestly the best incentive to actually learn the language and be consistent, as they said. You can basically get cashback if you like attend all of your classes that you sign up for and if you like follow all of the rules. So it's like a two month challenge and you can either do the super sprint or the sprint. With the super sprint, you have to do 30 lessons per month over two months, so 60 in total, and you get basically all of your money back or 100% cash back if you as I said attend all of the classes and follow the rules and then the super sprint is basically where you do 15 classes per month and then that is again over two months so 30 in total and you get 50% cash back if you do that properly as well and on top of that you guys can click the link in my description box and you can get 20 euros off or 25 US dollars off if you click my link and use my discount so yeah money off and potential cash back it's honestly such good motivation so again the biggest shout out to lingoda and definitely check out my link down below in my description box but basically whilst i was eating my breakfast i was just looking over my tutoring slides that i'd prepped the day before and getting ready for my session at 8 .5. i think the first thing we'll do is we'll just um recap one viral replication strategy so this was a biology session for a degree level student and it was an hour so i finished at just before 10 a.m which gave me enough time to find the zoom link for my german class with lingoda ich wohne in england mit meiner familie elena mag musik so you can choose to take classes that are led by professional teachers at basically any time because they're offered 24 7 and the classes are like really small with a maximum of like five students so you can get really personalized support maximum attention and just gain more confidence in speaking the language so there were four of us in my class and basically lingoda offers four languages so english german french spanish and then business english as well Im I've just finished my lesson. Um, it finished pretty much at 11 um, because the teacher was going to go to a next class. You can get exercises to do. They're not like mandatory, but they just kind of like help with your understanding and practice. Um, I mean, I just feel like I know more in my head, but when I try and form sentences, it all just gets messed up and it comes out jumbled and I can't put sentences together properly and I make mistakes. That I shouldn't make because I do know that so I didn't feel that confident and it takes me a while to like warm up to it and because with learning a language like the best thing you can do is speak the language like those lessons are all in German and so sometimes I'm listening I'm like I don't know what is going on I don't know what she's asking me to do but it really does throw you into the deep end and you have to get used to listening to it speaking it because learning a language is so much more than learning words and vocab it's actually about speaking it which is something i don't do enough of so those lessons they're really challenging like i find them really hard and i have to think a lot but i guess the more you do it the more comfortable you'll feel but yeah the next hour is for me to just like work so finish some emails do some editing holy Jimia stuff and then i need to work out what train i need to be on so i can be at my dentist appointment at 2 p.m i really want a hot drink right now and the only thing we have is coffee um you guys know i don't really drink coffee but I mean, I don't mind the taste and I kind of want a hot drink. So I'm going to make this um, and it's before 12 noon, which is when I like to cut off caffeine intake because it really affects me. Caffee, we were talking about caffee. Ich mag Kaffee, aber ich trinke es nicht so oft. Rarely, need to think about that one. Uh, rarely. Manchmal is sometimes rarely seltan. Seltan, I think. So I don't know about you guys, but I often find it easier to plan and block out my day and then stick to that plan when I have what I call pillars in my day. So things at set times, basically. So I knew on this day I had tutoring first thing and then a language lesson at 10. My dentist was at two and then physio at 3.30. I just like having things at set times and then all of the time in between those meetings or appointments or classes can be dedicated towards other tasks so before i had 
to leave. I was basically just finishing off some Holy Gemia admin, doing some editing, and then I was just packing my bag and getting ready to leave. I am finally just scrunching out this gel. It is pretty much dry now, and you only like scrunch out the gel when it's completely dry. It reduces the frizz. Um, but yeah, the next hour of my day, so it's just gone 12, is basically all about getting ready to leave and getting my train when I need to get the underground to the tube to then get the overground. So it's gonna be like an hour in total, my journey, I think, um, if I catch all of the right trains and make all of the connections. And yeah, I'll probably then get lunch when I'm out. I'll just grab a meal deal because there is a supermarket near my dentist. Then I can go to my physio at three. I hate this part of like leaving the apartment on my own and being responsible for locking up and stuff. My OCD just gets really bad. Um, but yeah, that's a whole other story in itself. And yeah, I feel like today is going really well so far. I mean, touch wood, we are sticking to plan. Angelo and I are obsessed with Soreen, so we try all the flavors. This is the berry and beetroot mini loaf. I like how cute that is. Um, but yeah, Soreen is just, it's just the best. Ooh. I'm running early actually, but it's better to be early than late, right? And I don't want to miss trains and not be at my dentist appointment at two. Mm, so good. We also store in the fridge because it tastes really good. So if you watched my video, my full week in London living with Angelo, my boyfriend, then you'll know that we were in North London and Archway specifically. So the tube station was really close by and I just had to get the tube to London Bridge station, which is where I then take my train to get to my dentist appointment and both my physio. So very conveniently, they were pretty much in the same place. I just had to walk about half an hour to get to my physio from the dentist. My lips are so dry, it's so cold. Like it's in the minus temperatures yesterday was minus four at some points i don't even know but it's freezing um i have my there's an airplane i've just literally walked to my physio excuse me that's gonna be really annoying i have my dentist appointment it was literally like five minutes um i didn't have any issues it was just the checkup uk dentists as well are like in houses that are converted i don't know if that's a thing elsewhere but i always just find it very funny i'm now at the physio it's not in this block it's at a tennis center and yeah, i also have a meal deal i got that from sainsbury's just before my dentist appointment it was quite rushed and i've just been like making loads of phone calls whilst i've been walking here like calling for blood test results calling mum, and just making a ton of phone calls basically but yeah i'm gonna eat my meal deal now do some work on my mac because i have about an hour i got a vegan hoisan duck wrap thing some fruit dried fruit and coconut water i'll show you guys but that's just the update everything is going well it's currently half like quarter to three probably coming up to that time and yeah time blocking we're running perfectly the time it's so great as i said my physio is in a tennis center so i was just watching the tennis whilst i was just eating my lunch and as i said i just got a meal deal because it is so convenient and i just went to the tesco that was near my dentist and whenever i am out and about and on the go i'll just bring my macbook with me so i can do work when i have you know some time to kill or if i'm just on the train i can always just do some work so i was just back to editing and getting on top of some things i wanted to get done that day and as i said i had about an hour before my physio which was half an hour. It's currently 10 to 6 and according to my plan for today, um, I plan to be home between 5 and 6. I kind of didn't account for the fact that I was going to come back here and then go to the gym but I said tube to the gym between 5 and 6. I then said gym from 6 to 7 so technically we are now falling behind. This is where things may change up a bit. Um, and I guess that's where the flexibility kind of comes in. You just have to be a bit chilled with these things because if you do plan things so strictly and you don't give yourself any breathing room, it will just add extra stress and there's no point worrying about this stuff. Um, and then after the gym, I was like, okay, dinner, more work, reading, chill. But yeah, I don't know if that's going to go to plan. But so far, everything else was done smoothly. Um, food on the go, dentist, physio... It was great. It's literally just been like half an hour um, since I spoke to you guys, but I'm gonna work now for an hour. I was just finishing off some editing on my Mac and now I'm just working on my phone because I'm like posting stories or creating Instagram stories. I've just come to sit on the sofa to change up where I sit, but I can only edit these on my phone. So I'll do that. And then Angelo is basically gonna be back in like half an hour. Um, so yeah, instead of working later, I'm doing my work now. Basically, and as I said, this is where my plan for the day started to break down, but I really wasn't gonna get too stressed about it because I got some work 
done before Angelo got back and then we basically went on this really long walk around North London. It was honestly like, I didn't even know, over an hour, maybe an hour and a half long walk just in the dark but it was just really nice to be together at the end of the day and to just like recap our days because we weren't together but I basically didn't film any of it, I only filmed what we made for dinner so we made this really really good concoction or plate full of food. We had like pesto pasta with potatoes and then just like veggies on the side so we just like sauteed those in a pan and then we also had like leftover vegan sausages from one of the previous days when we were in London so yeah it was such good food and we obviously had dessert after that but we just bond so much over food we get so excited and we were watching that whilst starting Love Island just because we were like why not you know it is the winter Love Island and it's actually a pretty good series I'm not gonna lie but yeah that was basically our day we just like chilled for the rest of the evening had showers and went to bed so that is basically my full day you know i really enjoyed trying something new i love planning my weeks and having to-do lists for each day but you know planning every hour and trying time blocking was just a really cool experiment so definitely let me know if you try it or if you already do it as i said and i definitely think it's really useful if you are someone like myself who runs your own business or just works for yourself because you can create those pillars in your day you can set certain timings for things and that will help you stick to plan hopefully i mean you don't have to do this every single day and you have to allow yourself flexibility i think is the most important thing but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely like it if you did comment down below subscribe if you are new and hit the bell so you know when i upload and as always i will leave you guys with the bloopers the best part of the video probably and speak to you very soon in another video bye guys Wait, was it on that whole the time? Whole time. <gasps> oh, they're not that bad. They're not that bad. That's a little bit obvious. Yeah, what even is the time? It better not be like half twelve. I tell you that. Not trying my face. <laughs> Come back to temporary home. Are people staring at me? Are there people staring at me? I don't even know. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. So my teeth are really nice and clean. Put up a Bonjour, no? Okay. This is the Soaring Bar I'm talking about.